Welcome back, Reading Wizards! In this episode, we will learn the relationship between cause and effect in a story. Have you ever played with the wind? Can you think of games we can play with the help of the wind? We will read the story, How to Catch the Wind, written by Anjali Vaidya, illustrated by Yvette Salon. Can you catch the wind? Let's find out! Air is always around us. Moving air is called wind. When wind blows, it carries energy. What does the wind carry? The wind's energy can lift kites into the sky. What do we need to fly a kite? When something resists the wind's movement, its energy can build up. Look! What animal is climbing the ladder? Before releasing in a violent burst. Oh no! What happened to the animals? But we can also capture the wind's energy and change it into energy that we can use. What kind of energy do we get from the wind? How do we capture the wind? Turbines help us transform wind energy into electrical energy. The energy of moving air makes the blades of a wind turbine spin. Can you point in the picture where the turbines are? Spinning blades change wind energy into electricity. Where does the electricity come from? We can use this electricity long after the wind stops blowing. Why is wind important? Let's figure out the cause and effect in the story. What happens when the wind blows? Energy is formed when the wind blows. You are correct! What blows a kite? We need the wind to fly a kite. That's right! What makes the wind turbine spin? Due to the energy of the wind, the turbines spin. Fantastic! What energy is formed from the wind turbine? I know! Electricity! Excellent! Cause describes why things happen. Effect explains the result. Let's take a look at the examples. Kite lifts into the sky because of the wind's energy. The word because signifies the reason. If turbines use wind energy, then electrical energy is formed. The word if gives us a clue about the cause, while the word then describes the effect.
electricity is formed as a result of the spinning of the turbine. As a result is a signal phrase for the effect. We use signal words because, since, if to express the cause. We use the signal words as a result, then, therefore, to express the effect or the outcome. Now it's your turn to write your own cause and effect statement. Can you give us one more reason? Why the wind is important? What happens if there is no wind? Congratulations, reading wizards! To get a free reading worksheet about the story and more exercises of cause and effect, send us an email at free.readingwizard at gmail.com. Don't forget to visit, like, and share our Facebook page, The Reading Wizard, and hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thank you, Reading Wizard! See you next time!